Rivals of Ether is a platform fighter with several awesome mechanics like dash dancing, wave dashing and hit falling to experience a fast, fluid and combo oriented game. So as a former Smash professional myself, I want to try out something fresh by going back in time to pixel art style and get into this game before the sequel Rivals of Ether 2 launches in 2024 and I loved it. But before I was able to play the game, I had to fight an old nemesis every Smash player has. It is not your worst matchup, it is also not Smash Ultimate's online netcode. What the fuck? It is the GameCube controller. I whipped out my old controller, however my old controller had some drift. And I opened this bridge up and now it works. I made a mistake. I need to open up the controller again. It's, it's not that hard, right? And so basically you have your, your motherboard. And currently this is the C-Stick. A few moments later. I wanna test it out. Works perfectly fine. The only thing I can actually repair a fucking GameCube controller. If I would have to build a shelf, I would be screwed. I just closed it. It doesn't work again. Okay, you only see me opening up my controller today, guys. Six hours later. Before I jump to any conclusions, let's try out Smash, okay? Okay, it's Drivers of Ether. Never mind. Okay, it doesn't work. And now set it on on 50. And now it works. Ho ho hold up. Did I just open up my controller for nothing? Was it just this one setting? Yes. Screw this. Several bad puns later. I didn't even need to repair anything. It was all alright. This is so sad. My whole issue was that it only didn't work down and left properly. Like it worked up and right. Uh, I would say we get into some games. Interesting character. Okay, I have not a single clue what to do against projectiles here. What the fuck? Oh wow, they're killed. I think I need to grab more, right? Oh, whoa, 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 how did that kill? What? Why, why, why did the kill? Is that guy really bronze or? For me, he looks like a gold player who can't play the char that good. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I finally understand what I have to do. More grabbing. Okay, so far so good. As soon as I incorporated the grabs, the combo game got much better. I just need to tip her. I just need to land a tipper. There we go, nice. Oh wait, is that true? Grab into F smash? Come on, die! Let's go! I want to sit! Oh, finally! Okay, understandable. More grabbing, more grabbing. Grabbing is good. I'm getting better drivers, definitely, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah, hey, I got it down here. Ah, oh, almost got it down here again. Oh, dead. No DI. Hey, we won again. And until here with the daily reminder of clicking on the subscribe button. It is free after all and would help a ton. We also have a Discord server if you want to interact with our community. The link is in the description. This dude is getting cooked. Poor lad never stood a chance. Oh, that, this dude got cooked right now. Man, all I needed to do was start grabbing with this character and suddenly gameplay elevated. Oh, fuck. Why are there gems dropping? What is that for? That? Oh, let's go. Shovel Knight has a very uh, unique mechanic. Shovel Knight can basically grab the gems and so he gets money. And with money, he can buy upgrades. It's actually very cool. <laughs> oh, I sniped his tower. For the beginning, Rivals of Ether worked out very well, but as you can see, as soon as I've discovered my win button, I tried to use it over and over again. I mean, if it works, it works. That being said, after playing the game for a bit over an hour, I was hooked. You should definitely give it a shot. Oh! 
Oh man, I thought that was sexy. Never mind. Ah, dip. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I would have deserved to die here. There is also moonwalking where you dash backwards. You have to input a fast quarter circle. Edge? Yep, nice. Hey, re ranked up. Let's fucking go. Ah. Okay, wait, that's sick. I will definitely not implement that right now. I feel like I, I have kind of like the, the neutral and the, the inside from other platform fighters. Like, what I, do I have to do, kind of? But I don't have the technique. Uh, sometimes in Smash 4, there were like Smash 4 and Melee tournaments back in the days. It's the same how it is now with Smash Ultimate and Melee tournaments at the same event. And I always like entered Melee for fun. But I didn't really have the technique. I could wave dash a little bit here and there and L cancel, of course, the, the typical stuff. But I couldn't do much more. Except for like one tournament, I always got out of pools. Every single time with my trash technique, because my neutral was just better. I, I deserve that. I'm getting my ass whooped right now. Why does it kill mid-stage? Jesus Christ! I don't even think my DI was off. I feel like the more I understand this game now, the more fun it makes. It only kills safely when the purple screen comes. Vagina X, damn. Got him. I'm gonna win this though. Is this guy's name really Vagina X? And I'm fucking him hard right now. You what? Same, I like Maple. Also, I like how Maple looks in Rivals of Ether 2. Looks hella cute. I'm getting more used to the game, yeah. But there are so many mechanics. At the moment, I feel like more slowish. So I think I need to train just more. Are you feeling like having workshop characters or not really? Uh, at the moment, no workshop characters, because first of all, I need to know the game better. And I think as soon as I know the game better, I think I can play some workshop characters. Well, excuse I just want to get better at the game, you know? Especially because there's Rivals of Ether 2 coming next year. So if I get better at the game now, at least a little bit, I feel like that translates maybe to Rivals of Ether 2. At least with some techniques, wave dashing, and hit fall, and so on and so on. Man, that, that, that's just my, my smash muscle memory. Because I think I can't just use a smash like that, but it's not possible. And then I accidentally dash attack. Ah! Oh my god, it was almost filthy as fuck. I'm getting better. Guys, I'm cooking. Oh, uh, what? I say, um, I recommend Steam version. Damn, it was $30 on the Switch. Mm. Nice. Hey, bronze three. Oh, hold up. What's happening now if I win? It's on fucking fire. I want to see that first. Huh? What's happening now? Oh, lag! Okay, that sucked massive ass because it lagged. I could try going into casual and getting my ass fucking whooped. Oh, oh what? What? That's my first rage quit! That's my first rage quit on Rivals! Somebody rage quit on me? On me? Bro doesn't play the game and he makes someone rage, yeah. I, I don't know how. Uh, which characters will get into Rivals? Because honestly, I, I want Claren in there. I already play Fleet, of course, but Claren would be uh, pretty sick. Then Fleet and Claren gameplay. Let's see Hollow Knight. I think Hollow Knight is more possible than Silk Song on Switch. Are you dead? Ah, there we go. Thundercats. Dead. I'm honestly surprised over myself that I don't play the snake. Because snakes are my favorite animals. You like snakes, really? Yeah, snakes are my favorite animals. I think they're fucking cute. Do you actually know the Eliana plushie? Have you ever seen that? That's that's freaking amazing. That's, that's the plushie. You know what's the best part? You can get it out of the machine.
And then it just looks like this. This is so fucking cute. Thank you for watching today's Rivals video. I hope you enjoyed it and if so, feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe. It was my first Rivals of Ether video and there are more to come. Feedback is highly appreciated. Until next time, bye bye.